Okay, um, so if any of you guys here are not from America or United States of America, so just to inform you, I'm sure some of you guys are from different parts of the world, you don't know what's happening, there's a big drama yesterday. Alright, so what is this big drama, right? So I'm sure you guys are aware in America right now, Donald Trump election, alright, it's about election, was supposed to fight Kamala Harris. And you guys might be wondering who is Kamala Harris? Nobody knows, right? I don't even know who she is. Like, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not an American and I was like, wait, who? I thought it was supposed to be Joe Biden and a lot of people like same like me, right? They don't even know. So Donald Trump won the election. Donald Trump won the election. And do you guys know what happens? Drama! Drama happens, right? Today, I go to Twitter, I go to Discord, I go to Reddit, everywhere, there's drama. Now, why is there drama? Okay, you might be wondering, okay, why is there such a big deal, right? It's just an election, right? Like, somebody wins, somebody loses, right? Why is there drama? Okay, let me show you guys. It's not an exaggeration. You can see there's a lot of drama going on, right? So you can see. I was cautiously optimistic earlier, and I am just devastated right now. I knew it would be close, but I just had a tiny glimmer of hope that maybe it would not be like this. I just don't get it! People are looking at Trump, a convicted felon, a violent instigator of an insurrection, a man who has admitted he'll be a dictator and has threatened political violence on people, an actual rapist! Ooh! Ooh, actual rapist! And they are like, yes, I will vote for him. Man! Man, he just won! He just, and this guy just won, and he's the president. Rapist, damn. Damn, that's a big accusation. Big accusation. So you can see a lot of drama circulating. You, you guys get it? President, rapist, okay, this is too much. This is too much drama, right? So this is uh, what's happening. 5.7K upwards, wow. Okay, wow. <laughs> People are that hungry. So there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of stuff right now, right? They ignore because the economy is bad. They haven't been paying enough attention to see that Trump's, Donald Trump's plans are going to actively harm them? How is this happening? How are we here again? I feel so sorry for us. For us, women. Women are mad. Women wants another woman to become president, obviously, right? So the woman, they're not happy, all right? It's over for, the, if you are a woman, it's over for you, all right? For us as a country, we owe all those women who have died after not receiving the health care they need better. I'm sorry we failed them. You can see how this is a big drama, guys. Okay? This is a big issue. <laughs> Trump beats woman. Woman hates Trump, alright? If you are a woman and you are from America, automatically you hate Trump, right? That's just how it is. This is how it is, right? So Reddit has problems. No, no, it's not it's not unique to Reddit by the way. There's a lot of stuff like this on Twitter as well. I'm sure Facebook has as well. But anyways, <laughs> they know what a woman is now. So this is very, very big issue, right? So a lot of women are not happy. Because most women, as far as I know, voted for Kamala Harris, right? Now, people ask me, what do I think of this, right? Obviously, I'm not an American, but for me, like, when I look at this, I was like, Donald Trump is going to win, for sure, right? Because he is more well-known, people know him more. But nobody knows who Kamala Harris is. Because like, I think they sort of did a very bad job in like, cause it was Joe Biden at first and then he like stepped down or something and then Kamala Harris enters later. And you know, that's just from my perspective, like I think Donald Trump is just more well-known. Plus Donald Trump has been a president before, right? I think it was like the before the current one. Be before this was Joe Biden, before that he was the president, right? So I think like people are more, maybe like more comfortable with him or something. Twitter is much worse. But yeah, this is what's happening, right? So a lot of people are just not happy, I guess. Never ask a leftist a woman. But yeah, uh, a lot of people here are not happy that Trump won. Alright? A lot of people are not happy. People are worried of what is going to happen to the woman. Especially the woman, right? I actually, uh, if you guys are not aware, I, I think I, I also read this somewhere, like, in the United States right now, there's like some issue with abortion, right? People are saying like abortion should be legal. Some people are saying abortion is illegal. I think if Trump becomes president, they are going to make it so that abortion is illegal, I think. I think that's what Trump wants to do. I'm not sure, right? I think that's what I, I read somewhere, right? Correct me if I'm wrong if you're American, by the way. Uh, so that's why a lot of women are a bit worried. Because if abortion is 
uh, illegal, so you're forced to have a baby. Ah, forced to have a baby? You have a baby that's yours now, you can't, you can't abortion. So uh, I can see if you're a woman. Wow. Well, this is like a, a, a big problem, right? So I can see how this is a... Yeah, it's like one of those small little things, small little issues. Uh, I'm so lost and disappointed watching the results. I'm confused. I'm hurt. I'm angry. I just want to understand how many people in my country have been brainwashed to the point of voting against their own interests. How the hell did we get here? Wow, 104 replies. Okay, let me see. Everyone felt comf comfortable. Don't lie to yourself. The profile of someone who knows Trump will lose by a landslide. So why bother going to vote is almost non-existent. The faster you accept that the right wing has better job lying. Controlling public opinion, the better. Lying. Wow. Abortion is unethical or just use contraception? Maybe just put on the rubber. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, right? This is like their issue right there. But yeah, this is pretty much uh, what is uh, being discussed a lot, right? Pre-election. So it's like one of the things that the president said they're going to do and stuff. The thing that happens in America probably made some uncomfortable with the Democratic Party Harris is a part of. I'm not sure, right? But Kamala Harris, I've never heard bad things about her. I think she, she seems she seems fine, right? But it's just, I guess people are more comfortable with Trump, it seems like. To vote the woman and now rubber. A lot of people uh, voting men and women are racist and sexist. Wait, what? There's a lot of Democrat voting didn't want to vote for Hillary and Kamala. Hillary or Kamala. Oh, so people that don't want to vote for Kamala is because they are racist. Because Trump is white. Kamala is... Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Should I say it? What color is Kamala Harris? She's not really... Um, let's just say she's not white, right? This is her color. I mean... Do you guys think it's true that people are racist? They see her race? So they'll be like, I'm not voting for that race. It's like a race kind of thing. What do you guys think? Is it true? How many of you guys are racist? And you vote for Trump because he's white? Wow. <laughs> Trump, Trump stopped two female president? Damn, two? In my religion, all vote for Trump to win because Kamala said she doesn't believe in God. Oh, really? She said that? I didn't even know she said that. Um, but from what I gather uh, last time, I'm not sure about... Like last time when she was he, when Trump was a president, I heard that Trump is like a very good businessman, right? He is definitely a very he owns companies before, even though he's been accused of like tax fraud or whatever. But he's very knowledgeable businessman. Maybe he can help with the economy, right? Which is what the United States is struggling with a little bit. I don't know. That that just feels like it feels like it makes sense. Kamala is Indian. <laughs> you're a racist. I mean, you're allowed to be. I guess if you if you want to be racist, you can vote for whoever you want, right? Uh, there's no saying that you can't vote for people not based on the race, you know? Like it's it's what it is. The election of all election was not one to mess around. Try the experiment. Uh, not even the existential threat of Trump was enough for people to go out and vote for a black woman. Uh oh, black woman. He was bankrupt before. Wait, really? I didn't know about that. I didn't know Trump was Trump was bankrupt before. I, this is the first time I'm hearing that. I've never heard of that. That's crazy if that's true. People hate women, then they like them. Do you guys true that? Do you guys think that Kamala Harris lost because she's a woman? And a lot of people hate women. A lot of angry people. A lot in the millions. A lot who haven't seen any real tangible benefits via politics in 2008. Financial meltdown. They have experienced uh, less job security, more pressure on wages, blah, 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 okay. Trump reflected their anger. Trump spoke their language. Trump reflected their views. Trump was and is one of them. Okay. There's nothing wrong with this. If, if people vote Trump because they can feel more relatable to Trump than Kamala, I don't think there's anything wrong with that, right? Like sometimes people just feel more, they feel like the they want the leader to be more relatable to them so that it can represent them better. I don't think this is like a, a wrong thing to, to vote for, right? Whether you, you like it or not. The illegal immigration issue is the main factor. Oh yeah, I, I also, yeah, I heard that a lot, right? I heard that in the uh, United States there's illegal immigration and Trump does talk a lot about the wall, right? 
he say build the wall, build the wall, but I never hear Kamala talk about it, so I'm not sure, right? That's that could be one thing. But yeah, uh, drama everywhere. All right, if you go to Twitter as well, it's a. Uh, how can a convicted felon beat two highly qualified women? It breaks my heart. I thought women dying from unable to access healthcare changed people's minds. What what is this guy? I, I, can somebody explain to me? Did women die from because they don't have healthcare in the United States? What happened? A lot of women died. Why is it women specifically? Is it like is it something to do with uh? Abortion and pregnancy again. I, I'm feeling it's because of that. Uh, I mean, it's no laughing matter, but yeah, I keep, I keep hearing this. But I, I heard that in in US, the, the medical is quite expensive as well, right? Harris was such a promising candidate with experience of charisma. Thought people would turn, turn out for her and her vision. I'm so sick thinking of the next four years and the lasting consequences for our nation. Oh no, the lasting consequences. Huh. People die all the time. I don't know what they're talking about. But it's woman. It's not normal people, it's woman, you know? Which is different, right? People are using extreme abortion or pregnancy as an excuse. Uh, I guess that makes sense, right? If they are they are using that. But uh it does let me see, is it still Yeah, it's still trending, right? Uh, a lot of this is still... Uh, I can see right here for trending. Goodbye, Donald J. Trump, you are fired. Mark Hamill, Joe Over, Kamala. I mean, these are the trending topics. I guess it's still being talked a lot about. But yeah, I think it will be like... Uh, a lot of people are going to be upset because, uh, you know, one party lost and you know, they will see like plenty of essays being written here and there. But it's quite funny to read some of them actually, right? Uh, it doesn't matter which side lost, like... Some of them, one of them is going to come out and write an essay regardless.